Dr. Najma Hetula has just arrived. I request everyone present in the hall to stand up and greet our chief guest with a round of applause. Pleasure inviting our chief guest, Honorable Dr. Najma Hetula, President, Professor, and Kensati Singh, Director of Education. Guest of Honor, Dr. K. Mani Singh, former additional professor of surgery. <laughs> As a dignitary septic.
An honor and privilege to well present the opening song from the Rimsonians. Distinguished invitees, respected professors, Professor Naishwadis, faculty members of different departments of the RIMS, Dental College, College of Nursing, RIMS, other members of the teaching and non-teaching staff, electronic and print media, and my dear students, I welcome you all to the 47th Council Day Celebration 2018. At the very outset, I, on behalf of the organizing committee, would like to extend my hearty welcome to Madam Natsuma <coughs> Hatula, Honorable Governor of Manipur. We are really grateful to you, Madam, for sparing a valuable time to grace the 47th Thomason Day celebration and make it successful. Madam is a well wisher of the Rams and has constantly supported our institute with a keen eye to its growth and development. I also like to extend a warm and hearty welcome to our young and dynamic director, Professor A. Santa Singh. Under your guidance, we could arrange the 47th Foundation Day celebration to a colorful form. Sir, so, we are proud of you. Under your dynamic leadership, the Institute is progressing forward remarkably. I would also like to welcome Professor K. Mani Singh and Dr. R. K. Sanaj Singh retired faculty members of the RIMS and the guest of honor of today's function. We are really thankful to you for accepting our invitation. I also would like to welcome Dr. C. S. Arun Kumar Singh, Medical Superintendent, RIMS Hospital. He is always ready to help for any improvement in the patient care service of the RIMS Hospital. I also welcome distinguished Invitees, Retired Professor P.I. Singh, Professor T.Y. Babu, Professor I. Kujakeshwar Singh, Sri Narayan Giridhari Singh, Chennai Librarian, Adjai Retired, Professor T. S. Bimo, Director of the Jennings, Dr. A. R. Mohendra, Retired Professor of Orthopedics, Professor A. S. Rajan Singh, Retired Professor of Neurology, Dr. R. K. Bharati, Professor and Herald Department of Pharmacology, Retired. And all ISODs and faculty members of the RIMS, Denton College, College of Nursing RIMS, and members of the teaching and teaching staff of the RIMS, parents of the prize awardees, 
and electronic and print media and all my dear students. I would also like to congratulate the students who will be getting prizes and the awards in a short while from now. RIMS is one of the premier institutes in the country. The institute is one of the best in the northeastern states. From, from inception of this institute, with 50 MEBS and graduate admission, it is moving forward over the years. Now we are having 100 MEBS and graduate admissions and postgraduate courses in almost all the medical disciplines and the super specialties for MCIs in neurology and also plastic and reconstructive surgery are available. There are many, many more things to develop. I hope with Evan and dynamic leadership of the director, Professor S. Hunter Singh, the institute will come up to a level with the other leading institutes of the country. Once again, I welcome you all to this 47 Foundation Day celebration to the Almighty of Rims in Pass. Long live Rims. Jai. <laughs> Almighty Lord Ganesha, the supreme remover of all the obstacles, please steer our path clear of all the hindrances and impediments to the path of glory. as a state-run Manipur Medical College. From then, the Northeast, we will have doctors from various disciplines. To present the annual report of this magnanimous institute, may I now invite the head of the institute, our respected director, Professor Anthem Santa Singh. Sir, please. Honorable Governor of Manipur, Madam Dr. Nazma Khatula, Guest of Honor, Dr. K. Mani Singh, former assistant professor of surgery. Dr. R. K. Sanazawa, former senior register. Medical superintendent, Professor C. S. Arun Kumar Singh. Reception committee, chairperson, Professor N. N. Navakesho, professor of obstetric and gynecology. All the distinguished invitees faculty members, teachers, staff, my dear students, media personnel, ladies and gentlemen. I, on behalf of Institute, welcome once again the honor case, distinguished invitee, and everyone personnel here, and thank you for sparing your valuable time with us to join the 47th Foundation Day celebration of RIMS. By your presence, function has become wholesome and we are indeed greatly honored to have you all amidst us on this occasion. I now place the report of the Institute for the years 2017-18 before you. RIMS Infra continues to grow over the years. Our campus spread over 300 acres of land. It has workforce more than 2,000 persons. RIMS now, RIMS now conducting seven other courses apart from MBBS course with 100 emissions per year. It has postgraduate degree courses in 23 disciplines with intake of 147 PG per year, of his 50% of from all over India. Institute conduct a super specialty course, MCH courses in discipline, immunology, and plastic 
and a reconstructive surgery. DGS course with 50 emissions per year, BSc nurse, uh, nursing course with 50 emissions per year. PhD program is offered in the institute. MPIN course in clinical psychology with a capacity of seven emissions per year. Bachelor of Audiology, Speech Pathology course with annual intake of 10 students is conducted in the institute in collaboration with All India Institute of Speech and Hearing measures. We have around a large number of faculty of this institute are involved in the various research projects funded by various agencies like DVD, ICMR, WHO. This research project has benefited not only the patient and the researcher, but also improved the lab infrastructure of this institute. A total number of 223 research papers have been published by the different faculties and the Department of the RIMS during the years 2017 and 18. As on 31st August 2018, we have 506, 506 undergraduate medical students on road. RIMS is the backbone of the healthcare system of the entire Northeast, not only for Manipur, most of the doctors working in the Magalia, Nagaland, Mizoram, Tipura, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim are product of RIMS Impal. It is proud to say we also contribute to the country, giving the 50% of the postgraduate seat to all over. In January 2018, unit of super specialty of institute, namely uh, nephrology, cardiology, neurology, surgical and gastroenterology, have been upgraded to the status of department. In the recognition of the achievement of academic performance of students and to increase them in their academic pursuit, certificate, gold medal, and case ever are in, uh, instituted by the institute as well as by the generous donor. There are 29 gold medals and uh, 60 institutional awards. In short while from now, this award medal will be handed over to meritorious students. I congratulate deserving students and of course their parents who brought up you on this profession. Regarding the hospital today, we have our OPD attendance in more than uh, five months. Casualty is a 1.2 one dollars. Our inpatient is a more than 42,000. Surgical operation are nearly 12,000. Radiotherapy is nearly 3,000. Our investigation has reached to the six lakhs, above the six lakhs, and we have delivery 11,645 and we have the lowest MMR in India. All the lab tests, including ECG, X-ray, ultrasound, in patient have been met free in January 2018. This was I have told in the last speech in the our 46th Foundation Day. We have already made 57 diagnosis, uh, diagnostic made free for OPD patients. It really benefit to the public. Our CT scan price has come down from the 1,100 just to 200 rupees. MRI has reduced almost the 50% to the 2,500. Lithotracy, it was 10,000. We have reduced to the only 4,700. Laparoscopy operation, keyhole operation, it was 5,000 here. We have reduced to the only 2,500 rupees impact of this. Let's see. Let's see in the biochemistry side. How much increase per month? Our lot keep on increasing. If you see the, even the last August, no wonder our all the biochemistry headers. And uh, let's see about any effect. It, this also keep on increasing. And if you see only for last one year, from the August 2000, September 2017 to August, that the uh, um, number of investigation in biochemistry increased by almost 63 percent. Same thing in the pathology, that uh, number has increased to the uh, 1,6488. 
same thing is applied uh, that is, uh, if you calculate it in September to August, increases is much, much more. When we come to the microbiology, microbiology there is the same story. Let's see about CT scan again. Uh, we make the CT scan reduce to 200. Now that uh, number of CT has gone to the 7,632 per year. And if you compare with September 2017 and the August, that is the last exactly one year, that number is hugely increased by more than 100 persons. Now let's see about the budget, how we have struggled about this budget. This is called granin aid. We, this is the budget we have to buy oxygen, antibiotic, IV fluid, all of them are to manage our hospital. But this budget has gone down to so low. In, if you see the year of 2014 and 15, we got almost 36 crore and it went down to the only one crore in the B. That's the way that I have to be intervened. So last year, my job was just to one crore with Puna with possible. I went to every pillar, including Delhi, even the Rajbao to Metam, and to increase it. And uh, we are able to manage to get at least 17 crore. Uh, uh, the amount of the, from the B, what we are able to increase was huge amount. So they have given one crore, and we are able to revise in the, it should be 17 crores. Same thing in the ground in the SL where we are going to buy the equipment. One MRI itself costs 14 crores. And uh, we want to buy the three Tesla, but then we have only one crores. And if you see the 2014 and 15, we got around 76 crores. Now the price index is gone, that would have been used for around 100 crores. But then our budget was only made one crores. And the 20 in the ICCC and remaining from the other constructions, it comes around 300 crores, but then what we got was only one crore. This is the one we have to struggle with, and the same problem is going. But then somehow I have able to get at least from one crore, we got the 27 crores. There was, salary was only 167 we spent. Now we spent 265 crores, and that we are able to increase from the, our BE also. That uh, that bit of the increasing in the salary overall budget is that we are able to implement the seven pay commission. We give the all area from the since 2016 January almost. Then we increase the minimum wages for daily wages, also security staff, and we hide the salary in the contract employee. 25,700, uh, data therapy technology from 13,000 went to the 20,000 above, data graphers 7,000 went to the 17,000, computer operators 7,000 went to the 20,000. Uh, this is the sum of them I just pick up actually. And the peer takers who are getting only 7,000, we increased to the 20,000 above. And telemedic uh, medicine technician from 8,000 we went to the 20,000 above. Uh, section officer who was getting 9,000 like that, we have gone up to the 20,000. Electrician, 7,000. Carpenter, 7,000. Driver, 7,000. Teller, 7,000. Laundry operator, all of them increased to be almost nearly 11,000 to 14,000. Staff nurses on country who was working on 13,500, we went to pay to 27,710. Great for multi-purpose workers, from 7,000, we paid 10,500. Overall, when we see the award budget, of course, we got more, much more than the previous years. We went to the, uh, we get around 309, but then this, uh, uh, again, next, our problem is that that was already over in the 2017-19, but then B in the 2018 and 19, Again, that graph has come down. This is the struggle I have to, and the RIMS has to struggle for this. And uh, uh, how we have struggled during that time also, I just want to share it. Uh, when we joined in the August, that was the, they have four installments. So first we got all the only 45 last, ground in assay, uh, ground in the general, where we are going to buy antibiotic and uh, all IV fluids. 
and then uh, August onward we bought 55. By the time we have already completed one crore. So we don't have any money on September, October, November, December, January, February. Last we got money was on 18 March 2018. And we have to close our account by 31st March. So in that effectively we have after deducting of Sunday and there was a good Friday on that month, we have only 11 days working days. Yes, sir. Increasing the hour budget, we want to be utilize 100% because, because we have only 11 days and we are not able to utilize them. They say whatever they say was right and uh, we don't deserve more money. So our determination was that whatever they have given, we have to utilize 100%. Not only that, we, you would have given more, we would have spent more. That's our logic. So we clearing the black, uh, black law of children education allowance, which was not given for last two to three years. For pensioners, we start giving the commutation. So idea is that uh, we wanted to utilize. Uh, okay. uh, another question is that we have not proposed, and then uh, they sanction less. But then most of the time we propose much, much more. This is the, some of them our budget and uh, our hostel in the uh, ORS system started in Nepal, Q management system started in OPD, we implemented the source action plan with the funding of the seven floors by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So this is our what uh, uh, EU hospital we have interaction with the Honorable Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad in with the rims patients. On the border, we with the public finance management system, we started construction of the 11-1 trauma center, bird unit in the rims in Paul, various equipment like biochemistry, uh, analyzers, ventilator, endoscopy, sinus surgery, telescope, multi-channel monitor, defibrillator with the cardiac monitor. Asset created our construction of the public washroom uh, uh, washroom facility in near dining hall, drainage system, kitchen facilities, PMR department, OT for gynecology department are uh, almost about to come in. Uh, we had activated hostel for girls completed, it was commissioned in 2018, it was inaugurated by Madam Honorable Madam Governor. We we wanted to introduce the dedicated water supply pipeline. And then uh, there was the water supply from the source of institute, but now the scarcity of water supply in the hospital, in the rim hospital, is no more. Uh, and uh, dedicated pipeline having led from the source in the other area of the institute, particularly the hostel, will make the effort to provide a pipe water supply instead of existing arrangement of the uh, through the water tanker vehicle. We are very happy to announce that air ambulance service in Manipur is soon going to be reality in the inner uh, interministry meeting in the government of India held in the 2nd July 2018 has decided that air ambulance service could be started in Manipur. Minute of the meeting of inter alia mentioned that helicopter may be stationed in the rims in fall to cater the to cater the far flung district of Manipur. That the Pawan Hans Limited will provide the helicopter services. Nick needs to mention that this project is the brainchild of Honorable Governor of Manipur, who is the visionary and the dynamic public figure of this country. Instead has carried out number of the instead has carry out number of the construction on some of them, uh, that is here, uh, I, I want, it may be mentioned that uh, we have introduced a bank in the campus, Bank of Baroda, a bank of Baroda is a huge benefit and convenience to students and staff. And uh, we always think uh, 
ever rely on our UBI for their continued excellence performance. It may be mentioned that the departmental related parliamentary standing committee on health and family welfare on its 106 report has observed that quote, Rules can become the center of excellence as it has got the human resource and the only constraint is the infrastructure. The report further mentioned that the committee therefore is a firm view that while the government is focusing much to promote the Northeastern region, health sector must also focus on the strengthening the healthcare facility in the Northeast region and the rooms being the oldest institute catering in the, to the healthcare need of the majority of people of the Northeast region should not be neglected in terms of budgetary allocation for infrastructure main power and state of the art of technology and equipment, unquote. Uh, in, uh, in, in my, my life in the last one year in the rooms was not that easy. It was the toughest job I ever faced till today. So many times I had to rush to Delhi for fun or better budget allocation or to defend rims in cat court cases. Can you imagine Rim has to defend against the litigation from his own faculty in Delhi more than 20 times? Also, so many high power committee, parliamentary committee, I just now I mentioned. So we, uh, but then, uh, we are fortunate that they have given the best report in favor of the RIMS. Not having fun, uh, uh, not only having the, our uh, enough fun other than salary, since I joined 17 August, uh, because uh, Delhi is our headquarters, most of the meeting, budget, DPC, SAP, fire safety, or launching of any national program, always held in Delhi. So my dear friend, I have to rush to the Delhi very frequently that time. For the first time, I have not taken a single leave, either CL or EL, during the last one year in the rooms. I was fortunate, and thank God, I did not even get called to take the single sick leave also. Despite many constraints, rooms in Paul is fully committed, complementing government and report, of reducing the maternity, child mortality rate, furthermore, control of spread of preventable diseases. To this effect, institute is implementing many schemes such as JSSK, JSSY, RBSK, Chief Minister Ki Hakshen Ki Tang Tengba. Recently, on the 15 August, Ayushmat Bharat PMJ was launched by the Honorable Prime Minister for the whole country. RIM Impact is a one of the eminent national health providers. Before I conclude, I would like to thank Honorable Governor of Manipur, Madam Nazma Hatula, for having kindly consented to be the chief case of today's function. Madam has always given her uninstituted support to the, this institute. We are very grateful for her advices and the guidances from time to time drawn from the rich experience and wisdom thus giving us the stamina and energy to take forward institute to higher level. Madam, we pray that you live long, healthy, continue to guide us. Once again, I thank all the honored guests invitee, staff, students, media personnel for your kind, patient listening to the report on the achievement of dreams. Your presence has made this function as a grand success. We are greatly honored. And at last again, I just want to thank Dr. Ranita my wife, Vivek, my son, for supporting me throughout this situation. Long live in part. The threadbare presentation of the annual report of our institute. Coming up next is the very important program of today's function, the prize distribution to the award-winning students of RIMS. 
ever since. So. A very good afternoon to all gathered today in this August gathering and with the permission of the audience and all the dignitaries on the dais and without winning the prize distribution from the postgraduate awards for which may I have the honor to request our chief guest of today's function the Honorable Governor of Manipur, ma'am Dr. Nazma Haptulaji to be kind enough to give away the prizes for this postgraduate awardees. The awardee, Dr. Bishru Hafi N.A. He won a gold medal donated by Professor M. Amuba Singh, an ex-medical student. And another award is in the name of Dr. Thurizam Janendra Singh Memorial Gold Medal Award for standing first position in the Department of Dermatology. Now they did by Dr. Shushma and Sucheta Thurizam Department of Pathology Rings in Fire. Next, I would like to inform that two of our awardees uh, have failed to turn up and they will have to collect the prizes later on. The next is Dr. Nongpongbun Thompson Luang for securing first one memorial gold medal donated by Professor A. G. Singh, retired HOD of NSTL Theology of Rings Impa. <laughs> Next online is Dr. Kanagagiri R. and he has been memorial gold medal donated by Dr. C. H. Rice medal for securing first position in MD Pediatrics. Dr. Kanagagiri R. Next on the train is Dr. Kevin awarded Dr. B, retired HOD of Ophthalmology Rims in Far for securing first position in MD Medicine. Next, I would like to call upon Dr. G. Diptim Gitan Biga. He is awarded an Ivo Hal Singh Memorial Gold Medal donated by Professor N. Nagakishore Singh the ex-HOD of Obstetrics and Gynecology RIMS and who is today's in MS Orthopedics. He has been awarded Warikon Jiboti Devi Memorial Gold Medal donated by Professor A. Mahendra Singh of Orthopedics. RIMS position in MD PC Memorial Gold Medal donated by Arandam Sarojabala Devi of Sagolban Vijay Govinda Impa. That concludes Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. A series of in the director of RIMS in your highest marks in biochemistry. Next, to be ready will be Miss Anesha Mojumdar. She has secured second position and also highest mark in physiology. Person is Mr. Vishwanath Kontempa. He has secured third position in this first professional MBBS exam. Next will be the second professional MBBS examination which was held in She has a professional examination and this gold medal is instituted by Rims Imphal. She has secured highest marks in the highest marks in forensic medicine for which she will be given another gold medal in the name of Dr. S. Vijay Kumar Singh Memorial, donated by Professor R. K. Bharti Devi, retired HOD of Pharmacology, RIMS Impar, Ms. Puja Sharma. Next is second position in the second professional examination. She has taken given Sanjenba Priya Kumar Singh Memorial Gold Medal and highest mark security in pharmacology, and this medal has been donated by Professor S. Rita Devi of Pharmacology Department, RIMS Infa. Henujam Ashapriya Devi. Ashapriya, please. I would still like to prize distribution, which will be going to the prize winners of Singh Memorial Gold Medal Award for first position in this third professional. And this is instituted by RIMS Infa. She has been rewarded with R.K. Vijay Chandra Singh Memorial Gold Medal. 
donated by R.K. Ratana of Payadong Impa, Mystery Devi Lystrom. Next is and for securing highest marks in securing highest marks in community medicine, donated by Professor Akujan Brogan Singh, Department of Community Medicine, Rim Simpa. The third prize winner. Then comes this. First, let me announce an overall best medical graduate gold medal, which was donated by Namram Ombi Kaina Devi Memorial, donated by sons and daughter of late Namram O Kaina Devi. Then she has secured first position for which a best medical graduate medical med gold medal has also been awarded, donated by Auto and Taxi Services Association of Rimsimpa. See for which Arivam Suryala Sarma Memorial Gold Medal is again awarded to her. This was donated. The Namun Shakti Devi Memorial Gold Medal has been awarded. This is donated by Professor N.G. Indra Kumar Singh, retired professor of Ops and Gyneering in Par. So she has taken all these heavy awards. Miss Kritika Sharma. Five gold medals. It's a great honor to be here to be announcing her name. I'm very happy. Next is Miss Second Position, Miss Prisha Nankana. The third position holder of this final MB examination is Mr. Tanmoy Modi, securing highest marks in pediatrics. With that, we come to the end of the prize distribution of the MBBS exams. I be arrogant enough to request uh, respect us, uh, the principal of dental and distribute and give away the prizes. I will be starting with BDS first gold medal award instituted by Rings. She has secured highest marks in general first position. Miss Akrienuo Kisto. The second position holder is Miss Karindora Tam Lindo Sok Me. She is the third position holder is Miss Tutu Mali. Tutu Mali. And they are the awardees of the BDS first professional examination. Next online is the second professional BD Angela Butia. She has secured first by the Institute Rims in Fall. She has also secured highest marks in dental materials. Miss Sonam Angela Butia. Next, it's very strange. Third position holder is Miss Nekuno Ringa. She has secured picks as well. Miss Nekuno Ringa. Next comes the teaching. First position holder is Miss Kaimi Yama. First position holder, hence, is awarded Dr. Y. Iboyama Singh Memorial Gold Medal. Orthodontics and Crown and Bridge, still more. Highest marks in conservative dentistry and endodontics. Again, highest marks, the first position holder with so many highest marks. Next is Miss Junior Grace Georgi. Second position holder of the fourth professional BDS examination, June 2018. Miss, the third position holder is Miss Leisantem Brainy Chen. Winning prize is on the way for securing highest marks in pediatric and preventive dentistry. The prize, Mr. Koyal, for securing high. Thank you, sir. all the patients given to this situation or this program. Thank you so much, sir. In the name of all the award winners, I once again, on my own, for bagging five gold medals for being the subject to operate all the subjects except pediatrics. Congratulations. Annual magazine 
entitled The Remedy. It reflects the aims and aspirations of students, the achievements in the past one year, and the way titled Remedy. May I ask Madam Nazma Hetula to kindly release the Remedy magazine to assist Riyang Magazine Secretary. is one of the best journals published. This journal serves as the right platform for all the faculty members and the postgraduate students alike to showcase their academic achievements. Professor Ahantem Sata Singh, respected director of RIMS, to kindly release the journal. Secretaries on the dais, Dr. Nazma Hatsula, Honorable Governor of Chemical, Professor A. Sandra Singh, Director, Rains, and my teachers and today's guests of honor, Dr. K. Mani and Dr. R. K. Sanazawa, and Professor C. H. Arun Kumar Singh, MS, Rains Hospital, and Professor N. Nagapishore Singh, Chairperson, Reception Subcommittee of the 47th Foundation Day, Rains. And my dear teachers, as an audience who are serving and have retired from the college, my colleagues, my juniors, my students, and all other invitees, a very good afternoon to you. I'll just take one minute to introduce the society to you before I really call up my colleagues. Our predecessors knew the pace of advancement in the medical science and the world of sharing experiences and importance of keeping abreast with the new advancement. To realize these values and dreams, they formed a scientific society. And it came to life on September 14, 1977, five years after the college was formed. The society's first year person was Professor B. K. Jha and co chair by Dr. Kuladhaja. And the honorary secretary was Dr. Taneja. The treasurer was Dr. S. N. Prasad. They started having annual uh, monthly meetings and they also published a scientific bulletin every year. That was called Scientific Society Bulletin and it came out for the first time in 1978. The society was renamed into Medical Society in 1983 with Professor Bhattu Charza as the chairperson and Dr. J. C. Sanesam as the honorary secretary and the scientific bulletin became the now the Journal of Medical Society and the first editor was Dr. A.D. Singh. The society has been following the tradition led by our predecessors. Monthly scientific meetings, CMEs, guest lectures, publications of the Journal of Medical Society have been the main activities of this society. This tradition and activities of the medical society have met rings one of the few institutions in India having this unique tradition. To carry on this legacy, we have new office bearers for the year 2018 and 19 who are all qualified and ready to solder the responsibilities. I will be calling up all of them now and I will request all the new office bearers to come up and greet the dignitaries on the dais and stand behind them for a quick photo session. So now I call upon the chairperson of this year, coming year, Professor Kurajam Ranjana Devi. She is the first probably lady chairperson of this society. I call vice chairperson Professor Nepram Sanjit Singh. I call honorary secretary Senjam Gozender Singh, joint secretary Chetan Maibam, treasurer Dr. H. Reva Chandra Singh, and executive members Dr. L. Nila Chandra Singh. Dr. L. Saini, Dr. Pukramam Gayatri, Dr. Usam Dharamaraza, 
Dr. Rajesh Nongthombam, and I also call our editors, Dr. L. Jaleswar Singh, Dr. Jayasri Purai Latpam. I also call our ex-official member, that is the past secretary, Kwasim Ibal Singh, and the past president, that would be my son. Thank you. And uh, 2013 to 17, I was fortunate that I was conferred upon the Outstanding Parliamentarian Award for year 2013. <laughs> has been a six-time member of Raja Sarva, Upper House of the Indian Parliament, between 18, uh, 1980 and 2016 and immensely contributed to the proceeding of the house maintaining the dignity of parliament by applying her knowledge and wisdom she has been a strong supporter and well wisher of rims impact giving us the impetus to strive for the growth and the development of institute Outstanding Parliamentarian Award is the award given to an outstanding member of Indian Parliament for overall contribution in the Indian Parliament. It was instituted in 1992. The former award winners include Sri Atul Bihari Baspai in 1994, Sri Pranamukhari uh, Pranam in 1997, Sri L.K. Albani, 1999, Dr. Manmohan Singh in 2002. We are very proud to have such a governor of the state of Manipur. <laughs> Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, on the occasion of its foundation day today, we would like to felicitate our Honorable Governor of Manipur, Madam Dr. Nazma Hatula, on her being conferred upon the Outstanding Parliamentarian Award. I request men to kindly accept simple gift from the Institute as a token of our love and affection. K. Mani Singh, former Assistant Professor of Surgery, RIM, Dr. R. K. Sanajoba Singh, former Senior Registrar of the Anesthology, RIM, all the faculty members of the RIM, all the participants, doctors, friends, and all those young people who got today so many gold medals. Well, it reminded me when I got my gold medal after getting the first position in the university. What a delight it is. I'm delighted to be with you all here today, this afternoon, on the occasion of the seventh Foundation Day celebration of the Regional Institute of Medical Sciences in Empire. I offer my heartiest greeting to you all on this occasion. The Foundation Day always remains a day of great significance in the life of an establishment and those associated with it. It's an occasion for both celebration and introspection for all concerned. It also provides an opportunity to all to be together, exchange ideas, reflect on the activities of the past and discuss the prospects and challenges for the future to move forward. A brief history of the Premier Health Institute is that Rim Imphal was established on this day in 1972, the year in which Manipur attained statehood. When in inception it was Christian as a regional medical college a joint venture of the northeastern states led by the government of Manipur 
and the Sankhi Kaman later. The college was renamed as Northeastern Regional Medical College in 1976. It was upgraded to Regional Institute of Medical Sciences on the 1st April 1995 when the institute was taken over by Northeastern Council. The institute has been transferred now to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare coming to India from the Ministry of Donor on the 1st April 2007. The basic besides objective of the institute is to impart quality medical education and render quality health services to the people of the Northeastern state, particularly Manipur. People in the rural areas where adequate health and medicare facilities are not available also from a target group of the health benefits. I am glad to learn that though it is stand as an institute catering to the seven northeastern states of India except Assam, students from the different parts of the country under all India quota are today enrolled both for the undergraduate and postgraduate courses in fulfill, it fulfills the statutory norms of the Medical Council of India. More than 3,000 doctors have graduated from the institute on the 31st March 2018. A new nursing college was set up from December 2009 with an intake capacity of 50 students. Super specialty courses in urology and plastic surgery have been started. A new department of hematology and blood transfusion was opened on 22nd July 2009. I'm very much interested in RIMS. When my daughter, who is a pediatric endocrinologist, when she visited Manipur to meet me, she offered to come to RIMS and speak to the faculty and students about the research taking place internationally in pediatric endocrinology. Similarly, two more doctors are invited to come to them and give lecture and presentation. One doctor, Samir from Bombay, who spoke on autism, and Dr. Gupta, Ashok Gupta, he too an expert in corrective surgery after the acid burns, came to RIMS to give his presentation very recently. Though the institute has progressed tremendously since its inception, there is much more to be done. The medical equipment and instruments need to be upgraded. Some of the departments are yet to be made properly functioning while the super specialty are lying un unutilized. I have, heard of the, I have heard of a proposal to upgrade the institute to that of the AIMS level, but nothing has happened yet. A good number of doctors, specialists, head of the department in the rooms called on me last month. And they appraised me of the situation which is having in this premier institution, which is not only catering for Manipur, but also catering to all the northeastern states of India. Unfortunately, northeast is far from Delhi. It says in Urdu, if you are behind the mountain, then you are behind the vision. But we are not such people that we will allow this to happen. I have taken the responsibility. Immediately the day the doctors called on me, I spoke 
to the director in and I wrote a strong letter to the health minister regarding the facilities which are lacking in RIMS, which are very essential. And I also invited him to come and visit and look for themselves. The committee of the parliament on health, when it visited RIMS, they called on this to me also. And I listened to their observations very carefully. And when I was on my next visit to Delhi, I told the health ministry officials about it and the minister himself. Health is an essential prerequisite part of life. All social and economic activities of countries are closely related to the health standards of people. Investment for eradication of disease like malaria, tuberculosis, cholera, etc. And also the prevention and control of HIV AIDS and N1, H1N1 is of great economic value. Today on the television, I was listening to the speech given by the Honorable Prime Minister on some occasion in Indore, some celebration in Indore of the head of the Bora community on his invitation which gone there. And he was praising the services of the community as far as the health, community health is concerned. An honorable prime minister made a lot of effort to focus on the primary health services. I assure you, in the next time in Italy, I will personally tell the Honorable Prime Minister what is lacking. Unfortunately, the rims of the same level, which is in Pondicherry, gets more funds from the Selby government than the rims in Fal, which covers seven states. RIMS Pondicherry covers only Pondicherry, it's a very small space because the next state which is Tamil Nadu has got the, all the best medical facilities available. While around us, there is, RIM is the only premier institution which is there to cater to the needs of the people. I am very happy to be associated today with this function and I wish Rim a long life. It's your birthday today. But I wish you many, many more years of strong health and service to the people of Northeast. Thank you very much. Madam Dr. Nesma Hemtuna, for your kind words. And I, as the outgoing secretary of the Medical Society RIMS 2017-2018, would like to thank you on a personal level for your special interest that you have taken in arranging CMEs in our institute. I personally conducted the CME by Professor Dr. Samir Hassan Dalwai, developmental pediatrician from Mumbai. And very recently on 5th September, on the Teacher's Day, there was a CME by Padma Shri, Dr. Ashok Kumar Gupta, who spoke on reconstructive microsurgery. Thank you so much, ma'am, for taking a personal interest in our institute. Now, we are coming to the, we are nearing the end of the Foundation Day celebration, and it's customary to propose the vote of thanks at the end of the ceremony. To do the honors, may I request our beloved medical superintendent of Rims Hospital, Professor Chongtham Arun Kumar Singh, to kindly propose a vote of thanks. Sir, please. Dr. Nazma Haptula, the chief guest of today's grand foundation day, 
Hong Sir. Professor A. Sandersen, our director. Professor K. Mani. Dr. R. K. Sanath Obas Singh. Our former faculties of the RIMS. Other dignitaries of the dais, distinguished delegates, our most valued invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this auspicious occasion of the 47th Foundation Day celebration of RIMS in Fall. I, on behalf of the organizing committee of the 47th Foundation Day celebration of the RIMS and the entire RIMS family extend a very hearty vote of thanks to our distinguished dignitaries and our most valued invited guests for gracing today's foundation the celebration function with your magnanimous presence and sharing with us your valuable opinions. Our words may not be capable of communication, our sense of gratitude to the Honorable Madam Governor of Manipur, Dr. Nazma Abdullah, who despite her busy schedule has consented to grace today's Foundation Day function as a sick guest. Madam, we are immensely honored by your presence and thoroughly inspired by your words of wisdom. Thank you for your sparing your available time for being with us this afternoon. I express my gratefulness to my teacher, Professor K. Mani Singh and Dr. R. K. Sanatabha Singh, the former faculties of RIMS, for having consented to be our guest of honor. I also wish to express my gratitude to Dr. Professor S. Sant Singh for his minor to minor guidance and support. I also take this opportunity to thank Professor and Nabakiso Singh, the Chairman, Reception Subcommittee, for his untiring guidance and inputs towards the organization of this function. I'd also like to thank other Chairman of the subcommittees, Professor Y. Indiver Singh for the catering, Professor A. K. Kaku, Cultural, Professor K. H. Ranjana Devi for annual report, Professor R. K. Lenin Singh, the publicity, the photography, and our consultant engineer in his team for renovating this Jubilee Hall. I'd also like to express our sincere thanks to our friends from the print and electronic media for giving an excellent coverage to today's Foundation Day function. Well, distinguished dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to state that we are all most grateful to everyone of here who is present today. Let us all wish the RIMS a very happy birthday. Let us also pray and work for its advancement and well-being in the days to come so that RIMS can serve the state and the country to its best potential. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now I request everyone present here to st rise to the national anthem. <laughs> Thank you once again, all the dignitaries on the dais and all the 
Madras for making today's Foundation Day celebration. In this very... All India, Tripura Bengalis, Tripura Tribal, and last but not the least, from Sikkim. We all you have a pleasant and we all wish you have a pleasant and enjoy evening. Thank you very much. Lights off, please.
have a cultural ram work which will be presented by the Old Manipur Tribal Medical Students Association. <laughs>
program. We would like to felicitate Ms. Nangom Bidyapati Devi, who has brought many laurels for us in the field of beauty pageant contest. She is the winner of Miss Augury 2016. She was also adjudged as Miss Congeniality in the Miss Manipur contest. of Megalia Medical Students. Thank you. 
is
beautiful performance. Shall we all give a round of applause to the only Zoom Medical Students Union? From Nagaland, we have the Nagaland Bow Dance and a folk dance of our tribe, which is done during ball dances to mock a war scenario involving dangerous war movement, spear, shield, and other ornaments.
I would also like to thank all the concerned authorities uh, for their support. Coming, uh, I would also like to thank our uh, staff advisor for Remedy 2017 to 18, uh, Dr. T. Jiten Kumar Singh, uh, Department of Medicine, uh, for his guidance, advice, and all the uh, support in this en endeavor. Uh, I would also like to thank Horizon for their amazing graphic designs and uh, for their unique ideas. And to everyone who has contributed in the making of Remedy 2017-18, we have put our best effort, best possible effort, uh, so that there is no mistakes. But if you find any mistake, I do apologize. Coming to the prize distribution, we have many wonderful entries, but finally we had to choose uh, one of the best among the best. Uh, for the front cover page, uh, the winner goes to Dr. P. Dr. Alan P. Ayer. Dr. P. Yes, come to the stage. Uh, prize money. I would like to call our directors uh, to give out the prize. For the inside cover page, the prize goes to Pokato Ki Zimo, 7th semester at the BS. I would like to call uh, our uh, medical superintendent. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pokato. Uh, many of you must be anticipating your copies and will deliver your copies to the respective CRs and your departments. Thank you everybody. Congratulations to all the respective winners. Ah. The Bhatiyali, the most sophisticated Rabindra Nitya from the top.
students of the all Tripura Bengali Medical Students Association. Back the students from the All India Quota.
Today they will be performing a post-harvest dance for the sweet harvest and inspire plain autumn which grew up while working in the job. They are here to present the most energetic, romantic <laughs> Shut 
Thank you. 
now, lastly, we'd like to call all the dancers from all the states. <laughs> Thank you. 